Hello viewers, you are welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. My name is Marco Kafo. For today's video, we are going to look at um, basic science. Now, these, uh, we are going to answer basic science questions from the just concluded 2023 National Common Entrance Examination, NCEE. For those of you that wrote the exam, you can get your question paper so I can answer the questions with you. For those of you that will be writing 2024 National Common Entrance Examination, this will also serve as a guide. That's the basic science. Here we have the questions from question 41 to question 45. Let's take the first question. The diagram below illustrates dash circle. A. Carbon. B. Nitrogen. C. Oxygen. D. Sulfur. E. Water. Okay, the right answer here is water. Okay, the diagram below illustrates water circle. So I'm going to briefly talk about this water circle so you can have um, a proper understanding in case the question is twisted next time for you. When we talk about the water circle, so the water circle is a natural recycling process of water in the environment. Water in the environment um, is being recycled. And this water has mainly three states, which are liquid, solid, and the gaseous. Okay, the gaseous or water vapor. Take note of this. So, um, the water circle changes into those three states between the earth and its environment. And this happens in stages. The first stage is what you can see here. Let me underline this. What is called evaporation. So, evaporation is the initial stage of the water circle. Most of the Earth's water is held by the world's ocean and the rest are held by rivers. So let this signify the ocean or the river or lake. Is that okay? Now, the sun being the main source of energy. Look at the sun. Yeah. So when sunlight from the sun heats up the water, some of the energies from the sun are transferred down to this water. Due to the heating, the water particles are charged and they move faster. They move into the air, all right? And that is why we have the cloud. They move into the air in the form of water vapor. This process is known as evaporation. Now, the next stage, I just mentioned the evaporation as a first stage. Let me write it up here. The next stage is what is called condensation. You can take note of them. Condensation. In this stage, or in this second stage, the evaporated water particles along with warm air rise up from the Earth's surface. It loses its energy and cools down. After that, particles of water vapor collect more particles of dust which are floating in the air and get closer to form water droplets. This process is known as condensation. Then the third process is known as, so this is one, this is two. The third process is known as Precipitation. After condensation, water particles come together and this process continues. When water vapor collects sufficient water and forms large droplets due to gravity, large droplets fall back to the earth known as precipitation. The next stage is known as deposition, deposition or collection. 
the position or collection. The deposition is the last stage of the water cycle. After precipitation, when evaporated water droplets fall back on the earth's surface, you can see it from the cloud, when it falls back uh, on the earth's surface in form of rain or snow, it may deposit in various water bodies, including the lakes, rivers, ocean ponds, or in lands which turn into groundwater. So you can see that the water cycle repeats itself again and again. So water is not really lost in the environment, rather is recycled, and that is what the water vapor, um, I said water, that's what the water cycle is all about. Let's take the next question. Question 2 says, which of the following insects undergoes incomplete metamorphosis? A. Butterfly B. B. C. Cockroach D. Housefly E. Mosquito The right answer is cockroach. Cockroaches undergo incomplete metamorphosis that consists of three stages. We have stage 1, which is the egg. Stage 2 is the nymph or the immature stage and stage 3 is the adult. Let's take the next question, question 3. A foot is made up of small bones called a femur, b humerus, c phalanges, that is the answer. Phalanges are the bones that make up the fingers of the hand and the toes of the foot. So that's the right answer. Question 4. All ripe grape fruit contains what type of acid? Is it the acetic? Okay, B is the carbonate, C is the citric. So the right answer is actually the C. All ripe grape fruit contains citric acid. And the last question is question 5. This question says a byproduct of crude oil is A. Cement, B. 4, C. Glass, D. Paint, E. Plastic is the right answer. Most plastic in use today comes from hydrocarbons derived from crude oil, natural gas and coal. Thank you very much for staying with me. I hope you appreciate this video. Keep supporting IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. I will be bringing more interesting videos your way. For now, bye.